Clinton won Wisconsin, but the Trump campaign is asking for a recount, and it looks like that will be a similar story in Michigan with margins this close. Every vote truly does count. ABC 7's Morgan Durden has the story. A recount in these situations is not unheard of. In the 2000 presidential election between George W. Bush and Al Gore, Florida was recounted and that went all the way to the Supreme Court. The difference this year is it probably won't be a fight over just one state. Dr. Darrell Lovell of the West Texas A&M Political Science Department says that's to be expected. They're well within their rights to ask for a recount. You know, with margins this small, with 20, 30, 40, 50,000 votes separating the two. This election may not be completely over with for weeks. So if we take a minute and zoom in on Texas, where there was some speculation of a possible Biden win. The numbers actually show Democrats losing a lot of the Hispanic vote that Hillary Clinton got in 2016. He performed about 8% less or, or worse with Hispanics in Texas uh, than Hillary Clinton did. And, and there were no pickups in either the con U.S. congressional delegation here in Texas, nor in the Texas House. Neighboring states like Arizona and New Mexico, which have a strong Hispanic demographic, voted blue. But Texas was still a strong red. This shows there is a difference between Hispanic voters in Texas compared to elsewhere. Republicans were beating the street. They were out there. They were knocking on doors. They were introducing themselves to people. That matters in those counties, especially down south, especially in West Texas and the Rio Grande Valley. Texas was a shoe in for President Trump this year, but Dr. Lovell says if Democrats ever want to make Texas blue, they're going to have to pay attention to what Hispanic voters respond to. Reporting in Amarillo, Morgan Durden, ABC 7 News. Now, as Joe Biden inches closer to the White House tonight, there is still plenty of counting and clarifying to do. Courts in some of those states are handling legal complaints, mostly from the Trump team, over what ballots should or should not be counted. But we